Hi, this is Brian Doherty from Hollywood Golf Club, and this is my MET Method. As a TPI certified golf professional, I'm always gonna evaluate you physically before we make any swing adjustments for you. So today we're gonna go over a couple of those screens that I'm gonna run on you before we start looking at your golf swing. First screen we're gonna run through is a rotation test. We're gonna see if you can separate your upper and lower body while you rotate in your golf swing. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get you in your golf posture. We're gonna cross our arms across our chest. We're gonna see if you can rotate your upper body while keeping your pelvis on down stable. We're gonna do the opposite as well. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to rotate from our hips down while keeping our upper body nice and stable. Really important in the golf swing that you can separate your upper and lower body. Next test we're gonna do, it's called an overhead deep squat test. So what I'm gonna do for this one, I'm gonna take a driver, I'm gonna stand my feet about shoulder width apart. Our goal is to squat down while keeping this driver up over our head. If we have any physical limitations, the squat test is probably gonna show us what those are. One of the other tests we're gonna do, we're gonna test your uh, hip mobility. So we're gonna test your internal hip rotation and then your external hip rotation. So what I've got, I've got a couple uh, golf clubs here on the ground set up at a certain angle. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a golf club or an alignment aid on our hips. We're gonna have one foot forward, one foot back. We're gonna keep all our weight on that forward foot. We're gonna try to rotate our hips. Then we're gonna switch feet. We're gonna try to rotate that way again, keeping our weight on that front foot. Then we're gonna switch that club and we're gonna test the opposite hip. Limited hip mobility causes a lot of issues in golf swings. We really wanna make sure we catch that before we make any swing adjustments. We're also gonna test your shoulder mobility. So what we're gonna do is called a 90-90 test. We're gonna hold our shoulder up at 90 degrees. We're gonna see if you can rotate your forearm at least 90 degrees. If we can't rotate at 90 degrees, we might have some issues in the golf swing. We're also gonna test your scapular mobility. We're gonna put you into golf posture. And then we're gonna see if you can again, rotate past 90 degrees. All right, we're gonna try that with both arms, just to make sure we have shoulder mobility in both your shoulders. All right, again, back down in golf posture, and again, rotate up. All right, we wanna make sure we catch these physical limitations, if you have any, before we start making any swing adjustments.